Hello and welcome to Upside Down. Today I'm going to make a tutorial which is a follow-up of my first part of the rope tutorial that I created a while ago. If you missed that part, I'm going to put a link down in the description below so you can go and check it out. What we did there was a spline tool that was using a mesh that we created and with this spline tool we were able to build a rope for our scenes. Now I want to show you an updated version, how you can create this rope in a much simpler way, but also it will have physics enabled. Once we finished with the rope, I'll also show you a little trick, how you can use this rope to attach in between two different objects and enable physics for those objects, so they will become interactable once we touch them with the character. Let's start. I already have a basic scene, which has just the third person controller and the starter pack imported. Now we are going to go to place actor and here in all classes we are going to search for cable. I'm going to drag and drop it on the scene and I'll move it a little bit up. You can already see that we have right away created a cable which if I move in the scene already has physics. The only part that we need to do is actually to assign our texture. We can go to details. And after that, we can choose our material that we've created for our rope and put it into the elements. Now you can see that we have exactly the same rope, but we already have enabled physics. Another thing that we can do with this object is change the points to where it's being attached. So for example, if I want it to go from this point, but all the way to here, we can do it simply by coming to cable components. And after that, selecting the end location and moving it all the way to the point that we want. You can see that now we created the length of the cable that we want, but also we stretched the whole texture. And as well, you can see that when I move it around, that there is a lot of tension and it doesn't swing as it was swinging before. What we can do here is to fix the length of our cable. So first we can come here and type 500. Now you can see that it already became a lot more loose and we can do it even more. So for example, we can put it on 600. We can see the distance between the first initial location and the end location over here. Now if I move it up and down, you can see that already our cable looks a lot similar to what it looked before. Now the only thing that's left is to fix our material tiling. Here you can see that there is a section which is called cable rendering and inside there is a part which is called material tiling. It's set to 1, but instead if we move it to 5, we are going to have almost the same result as it was in the very beginning. Here depending on your texture you can tile it as many times as you want. Now let's move to the part that I mentioned in the very beginning that we are going to connect two objects and the one on the bottom is going to have physics enabled and the cable is going to be attached to both of them. I'm going to first quickly prepare the scene and after that I'll continue on with my explanation. Now that we have our setup done, I'm going to go again to place actor, all classes, and we are going to search for physics, constrain actor. We are going to place it in the middle in between those two assets. And here we have two constrained actors. On the first one, we are going to choose the box. And for the second one, we are going to choose the sphere on the bottom. Now that we did this, we are going to need to attach the end of the rope to the sphere. So I'm going to select the rope. Here there is a section which is called attach end to. And from actors, I'm going to choose the sphere. You can see that it extended it a little bit more, so we can easily fix this. Here in the end location, you can see that on Z we have it on minus 240, but if I put it on zero, it will go to the center of our sphere actor. Now there is only one step that's left for us to do, and this is to enable physics for one of the objects in the scene. Since we don't want the top part where everything is being attached to move, but we only want to move the sphere on the bottom, I'm going to select it. And after that, here there is in the physics tabs a simulate physics. We are going to enable it. I'm going to save the scene, click play. We can see that the rope is being attached to both actors. And if we come here and hit the sphere, it will swing and it will still be attached to both of them. 
At the moment, everything is using the default physics settings inside Unreal, but of course, this is something that can be tweaked later on. Thank you for joining me in today's tutorial. I hope that this was useful and helpful for you. Subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below if you want me to make a tutorial on another topic. See you next time.